Color grading is so much more than just taking a clip, playing with some color wheels and calling it a day. If you want to take things serious and level up your edits, you're going to need these five life-changing color grading tricks. We're going to start easy with level one. Here you can see my edits. It's already chopped up in a thousand clips, but I still need to color grade all of them. If I do this one by one, it's going to take a long time. So instead, select one of them and go to the window menu on top. Find Lumetri color. Once it's open, start grading the clip like you usually would. Now this color grade is only applied to one of my clips, but of course we want them on all of them. And now you're thinking, let's just copy and paste it to the other clips. No, that way you load up a ton of different Lumetri effects, which is completely unnecessary. Instead, go to the effect controls and right click the Lumetri effect. Then choose cut. Now click on the source tab and right click again, then choose paste. Now the Lumetri effect is applied to the entire clip in the source monitor, which means the same color grade is now applied to all the clips. But what if I have these different clips? Then the source trick doesn't work. So what you do now is go to the project window, then click the new item button and choose adjustment layer. Simply drag it on top of all your clips and apply the Lumetri effect to this layer. Now the Lumetri effect will be applied to every clip underneath the adjustment layer. Of course, you still need to correct the clips individually using Lumetri, but luckily this is a very efficient workflow. Amazing, but I think it's time for level two, fixing the greens in your video. Digital cameras are often very sensitive to the color green and that can make it look very flashy and cheap. So to make it look more cinematic, we're gonna target the greens and make sure they get less attention. To do that, go to the curves tab in Lumetri color find the hue via saturation curve. With this curve, you can target a color or hue and turn down the saturation of it. Take the color picker and click the greens in your video. This will make a selection on the curve. Now grab the middle point and turn down the saturation. You can of course also do the opposite and increase it. You can do this with other colors as well, such as this flashy orange. Just grab the picker, select it in the program monitor and then turn down the saturation. Now back to the grass. I always love to push little orange in it. That will make it appear more dry. To do that, scroll down to the hue vs hue curve. With the color picker, go to the program monitor and select the greens again. Back in the curves, push the selection a little toward orange. Don't be afraid to adjust the selection as well. Add some black bars to it and it looks like you're watching a cinematic movie. That is amazing. By the way, speaking of cinematic, we do have a Lumetri course where you can learn to become a professional color grading artist in less than two hours. You learn to create that cinematic look everyone is looking for. You will be unstoppable. I know, I know, all these waveforms, scopes, are RGB curves, they look really overwhelming. I understand. But what if I told you they are actually very simple and once you understand them, you will unlock your inner color grading god artist. You will learn every button and slider of Lumetri, that way you can do things like fixing bad footage, performing advanced color correction tasks and matching color grades on different clips will be no issue at all. A lot of students who already took the course absolutely love it and I'm sure you will love it too. By the end of the course you will have a complete understanding of all the color correction tools within Lumetri. I had to struggle for years to get where I am now and you get the chance to learn it in just two hours. If you seriously want to level up your edits, don't hesitate and use code PRB30 for 30% off. But you gotta be fast because this only works for the first 50 people. So to check out the course, Click the link below. Actually, you know what? I think you're ready for level three. Let's get back to Premiere. Using an advanced technique to create specific parts of your video. Actually, let's use this studio, for example. The colors of my face are actually selected and they're color graded without messing with the other colors behind me. This is what it looks like turned off. Yeah, there's less life in me now. Anyway, to do this in the Metri, go to the HSL tab and expand it. To select the skin tones, click the color picker and go to the program monitor. Then simply select your skin. Here we can see three curves, a hue, saturation and a luma curve. Adjust these so that only your skin tones are selected. Other colors like this table can also be selected because the color lays close to my skin tones, but that should not be an issue. Once they're selected, scroll down to the color wheel. Push a little orange into the video and if needed, decrease or increase the exposure as well. And that's how you make yourself look alive. It's time we climb up to level 4. We're gonna do some color grading VFX. So here we have a video of Janik shooting our intern. Yeah, I, I know, it, it's weird. We're gonna enhance this muzzle flash by making it literally flash on Janik's face. To do that, select the clip in the timeline, then go to Lumetri color and wiggle with the exposure slider. That will apply the Lumetri effect to the clip so you can see it in the effect controls. Now that we're here, expand the basics correction tab. By the way, we're using Lumetri in here because that allows us to animate controls such as the exposure and of course the others as well. Grab the play it and move it to the frame where the muzzle flash is visible. Now increase the exposure just a little bit. We're gonna make the gunshot reflect on his hand and his face. 
To do that, click the mask icon under the Lemetri effect. Then go to the program monitor and draw a mask around his hand and his arm. Then in the effect controls, increase the feather a lot so that the light can spread out. Next, create a second mask and draw it on his face. Again, once you're done, increase the feather a lot. Now, a gunshot is kind of like fire, so it will also leave an orange glow. And to create that, increase the temperature as well. The final step is to animate the masks because we only want this flash on the frame where the gunshot happens. To do that, make sure the playhead is still on the frame with the muzzle flash. Then set a mask opacity keyframe for both masks. Now grab the playhead again and move one frame back. Set the mask opacity to zero and drag the playhead two frames further. Now set the mask opacity also to zero. That makes it visible for just one frame. That looks awesome. <laughs> And there it is, level 5, the trick that will turn you into a color grading master. So I'm gonna copy the color grade of the matrix using Lumetri. To do that, make sure the playhead is on your video. Then go to Lumetri and expand the color wheels and match tab. Click on comparison view. On top you will see the video in the timeline and on the bottom you can select a reference clip using the timeline slider underneath. Now back in Lumetri, click on apply match. This will copy the grade of your reference clip and paste it on your own clip. This kinda works but I still need to do a lot of adjustments so I'm better off grading it myself. Now I do know a tool that can match your colors in literally one click. It's called Cinema Grade. You can simply drag it on the clips you want to match and then go to the effect controls. Now open up the plugin and in the final grading tab you can match your video with any image or video. I use this plugin in almost every video because you can do some adjustments that's simply not possible in Lumetri. You know what, I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. So again, if you want to become a true color grading master, continue the lesson on my left and learn how to copy any color from any movie. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.